Well, we are just two days away from Chicago's mayoral election, and candidates are taking advantage of every last minute trying to win votes. And some did that by going to church today. CBS 2 Sade Gray joins us from the newsroom. Sade? Well, Dana, we know that there are nearly 178,000 ballots have been cast for Chicago's mayoral race. Polls show voters between the ages of 65 and 74 voted the most. And in the late stage of the game, 19% of voters are still undecided, which means attending these church events now could be crucial. Voter turnout is the name of the game in the final days of a mayoral race. Church members at Apostolic Church of God in the Woodlawn neighborhood heard from candidate Sophia King. And the fact that 20% of folks are still undecided, um, I think, is helpful to us because they probably haven't heard about us, but they're they're hearing about us now. West Woodlawn neighborhood, candidate Willie Wilson made an appearance at the Greater Prayer Garden Church of God in Christ, pushing his campaign and war against crime. It allows my 20-year-old son to crime, so that is my number one issue. We have to get rid of crime, and the second would be taxes, of course, but if you don't get rid of crime, and, and you, you, you might as well just not talk about nothing else. Paul Phillips! Projected front runner Paul Vallis has been making headlines these past few days for all the wrong reasons. Vallis is facing controversy involving his Twitter account liking offensive tweets. He says his account was hacked when asked about it at a restaurant in Lincoln Square neighborhood. There's nothing to clear up. Look, I am going to uh, end this phase of the campaign the way I started it. I'm going to end it in the community and I'm going to end it talking about issues. He tells one story, oh, it must have been an intern. Then he changes the story and says, oh, it must have been hackers. At some point, Paul Vallis, you need to step up and accept responsibility for what you've done. But just last month, Mayor Lightfoot was under fire for emails sent to CPS teachers asking for campaign volunteers. That's not allowed. The mayor first called that a common practice, but later blamed it on a campaign staffer and called it a mistake. Reporting in the newsroom, Charday Gray, CBS 2 News. All right, Sharday, thank you. And you can watch live results come in on election night. Our coverage starts at 7 on our digital streaming network, CBS News Chicago. You can find it on Pluto TV or our app, CBS Chicago.